Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with me, Rock Paper Mario, and in the last part we saw Madonna and saw where Terra came from. And now we're heading back to Narish, so we're actually well no, let's not head back. Well let's head back to Narish, I dunno. Yeah, Narish is that one right there at the top. This is piloting the airship. It's the same as piloting a chocobo, you um you press A to accelerate and you steer with left and right. Um down will make you go up higher and up will make you go down and <laughs> yeah one side will make you grow bigger um, and I think that's all oh if you hold L if you um um no wait a second what is it if you hold L and or isn't it I can't remember this maybe it's if you hold Y oh yeah if you hold Y you can move around like that without turning which I don't know why that would be useful but still um, and if you hold L or R, you can turn faster. Um, but you don't really use that at all, so let's just land straight away and press B. So we're well, no, let's not be sets or who will we be? We'll be Edgar because he's like, well, no. See, like I hate this. I don't like um, I don't like like being characters in scenes that they're not supposed to be in. So I guess I'll show you. If you press X, you go back into the airship. Um, now this guy, what I'm going to show you is he can like unequip your party members because now you have quite a few party members and like it's easier to do this than to get them in their party and then take off their equipment and then put them back and stuff like that. So you can just like unequip all members straight away um, and that makes it really good for like swapping around equipment and stuff because you won't get one of everything all the time. Your sets are at the black or sapping at the black tack table. Let me take the empire. Change party members? Yes. I suppose the most appropriate would be to take Terra, Locke, and um, Edgar, and yeah, we'll take Terra, Locke, and Edgar for the moment, and I suppose Setzer, since he drove us here, we're hardly going to leave him in the ship, I don't know, and let's equip them. Now Terra, you want to give her um, earrings because she's a magic user. Actually, no, I'm going to equip them and then I'll show you when I've done that. Okay, here guys, I've put Setzer in the back row because his weapons are long range, and I'll show you my equips now. So, oh no, I never equipped Setzer. But I'll show you what I'll equip on him. In right hand, you just put his cards. Left hand, put a Mithril shield. Head, he wants the green beret, as usual, and... Um... You know what? We're going to put the ninja gear on him for the moment. We're going to be buying new equipment in Narsh. Um, so, let's just get a move on. I'll be, again, you can heal in Setzer's ship. There's one thing I don't like about, um the way they did this is that you remember like when Setzer's ship was grounded when we didn't have access to it we could just go up to it and go into it without actually taking off you can't do that anymore and I think that's a real like pain actually what's this guy have to say we've been waiting for you this way please okay could you hurry it up Terra Terra's going to give one of these stupid speeches again this is another reason why I can't stand her she's like oh are here. The people of Nash have finally decided to battle the Empire. How did it go at Vector? Well, we got all the Espers, but they're dead. And Celis is dead as well. That's kind of what happened. I see. Your plan would combine Narsh's money with Figaro's machinery to storm the Empire. Couldn't we combine Narsh's money with Figaro's machinery? And Figaro's money? I don't know, that's just a <laughs> that'd be better. Not enough manpower though. We'll need well where are we gonna get manpower? We have to open the shield gate. What? No, that's a terrible idea. To the Esper world? Yeah, to the Esper world, remember, you're the one who told us. We'll never beat the Empire without them. They'll never get him. When the gate has been opened, the Esper We'll storm in at the same time from the north. Well, Bannon, you just came off with that idea from the top of your head, I don't know. No way around it. Wait, is that Terra saying that? We must get the Esperance to understand. We have to establish a bond of trust between humans and Esperance. Only one person can do this. Who? Let me guess, jeez. Yeah, they're all looking at you. <laughs> Terra. 
Oh man, she's gonna go off on one again, isn't she? Hera. Yeah, she kind of knows what you want her for. Jeez, if it's not the Empire using her, it's it's her friends. Half human, half Esper. My existence is proof that such a bond can exist. It's as real as my skull, and it does exist. I'll do it. I'm the only one who can. Oh, she's so like oh melodramatic. Oh, she's just like oh. What do you say now, Bannon? Get the Esper to understand. And we can bring this war to a screeching halt. Terra, I know you can do this. The seal gate stands at the eastern edge of the Empire. There's a base there, but somehow we'll have to slip through. Yes, yeah, somehow. Our battle lies before us. We must make ourselves ready. Oh, well, there's actually a couple of things we can get in Narsh at the moment. But there's, like, a few things that I want to do first, because, um... Well, I just like to. Is there a man in my way? There we go. Hey, sir, what you have to say? Geothermal devices keep this town warm. Yeah, we heard that already. Jeez. There are a couple of things I want to do first. Um, well, second, do I have enough GP? I do. Sixty-three thousand. That's enough. You want thirty thousand GP at this point because you're want going to want to go back to Jador. Jador. Is this Jador down here? No, that's not. What is that place? Oh, that's Funkin' Duncan's house or whatever. Sabin's house or... But oh, which one's Jador? Is this... Oh yeah, it's this one because that's where the opera house is. I always get... I always get like Jador mixed up with where Miranda is because I'm an idiot. Hey, make sure you have 30,000 gil be or before you come here because you're going to need it. Remember that building that I showed you where we're not... where we weren't going to be doing anything yet? Well, we're going to go in there now. Um, and I'm going to cut this out if I need to because like... Basically, there are two espers that you can get here, um, and they'll be in the auction, but there's only a small percent chance that they'll appear. See anything you want, the auction's about to start. Bid on items. Yeah, sure. Okay, here's our next item. What is it? Oh, first go, yes! The Magicide Zone Seek. Very important. Who'll give me 500 GP? I'll give you 500 GP right now. A thousand GP! Ho ho ho, there's nothing I can't buy! 2,000 GP! 3,000 GP! 4,000 GP! 5,000 GP! Okay, that's enough of that, jeez. Terra, just get in there! Well, how about it? Buy it for 7,000? Yeah, go! Jeez, 7,000 GP! Ho ho ho, there's nothing I can't buy! 8,000- No, you outbid us, you jackass! Come on, Terry, we have plenty of money. We can spend a whole... Buy for 10,000. Yeah, go on. It's really important. 10,000 GP. Sold to this lucky person. Take it away, please. Yay, yay. Received the Magicite Zone Seek. Well, that's all for today. Folks, coming in real soon. Yeah, we will be. There's another Esper we can get here. Now, there are other things that you can get there, but I see them as a waste of money. There's like... a Cherub Down, which is a relic that gives you float status. Say anything you want, the auction's about to start. Bid on items. Okay, here we go. Okay, here's our next item. Please, please, please. Yes! Oh my god! To the Magicite Golem! Who will give me a thousand GP? Five thousand GP! Okay, we're not doing this again. Come on, hurry up. Oh my god, the last time I did this, I had to go in and out of here like a million times to try and get it. Oh no, someone outbid us. Well, how about it? Buy it for 20,000? Yes, definitely. Golem is one of those espers that you'll use a lot. Sold to this lucky lady in the front row. Lovely ladies. Smell him through the smoke. Yay, yay. Received a match site, Golem. Well, that's all for today, folks. Come back again real soon. There's like a talking chocobo that you can see there as well, but you can't buy it. I might show that off if I get the chance. I guess I'll show you those espers. They're both really important. Now, Zone Seek is really important because you can learn Rasp very quickly. And Rasp is a very important spell in this game. Basically, what Rasp does is it damages um, an enemy's MP. Kind of like Osmos, which actually absorbs MP. But Rasp will, like... T Whereas Osmos will, like, damage their MP a little and give it to you. Rasp will damage their MP a lot, but you won't get it. But the thing is, in this game, if an enemy runs out of MP, they die because they don't have any MP. It's ridiculous. So Rasp, you can actually kill a lot of enemies that would be difficult 
um, otherwise, you can use Rasp to kill them really easily. The most, but the other thing that's really important about Zone Seek is that at level up, it gives them, it gives magic power plus two. So basically, at this stage, seeing as you have Bismarcky and you have Zone Seek, you're going to be leveling up every character with either magic power, with either Zone Seek or Bismarcky, depending on whether they they um, they use magic or physical attacks, basically, um, because. The rest of the stats take care of themselves, really, to be honest. Now, the other one, Golem. Golem, you can learn Save, Stop, and Cure 2. Stop is really useful to know. Um, Cure 2 will get an Esper really soon that'll, um, that will be able to learn that quicker from, so don't worry about that. But the great thing about Golem is that when you pr when you cast Golem, he'll actually... Um, it's better than casting Safe, which is what Protect is called in this game, because he'll actually... Um, reduce a lot not only will he reduce a lot of the damage that you take but he, he reduces it by a lot more than safe does like the attacks that would be doing hundreds of damage will do like 60 and 70 it's crazy but i think golem wears off after a while once he takes a certain amount of damage or something but usually it's grand like golem and um golem and phantom are a great combination if you're or not golem and phantom Golem and Zone Seek cast Shell. If you cast Zone Seek and Golem, then you'll be taking a lot less damage from a lot of battles because you'll have Shell to protect you from magic and Golem to protect you from physical attacks. Um, Golem is really important. Him and Phantom are the ones that you're going to be using a lot of the time in this game, as far as Espers are concerned. Now, I think there's another one we can get right now, isn't there? Or is that later? I can never remember whether this is open, but there's another Esper you can get if you go back to Tsen. Um, and you can actually, like, I, I would definitely recommend getting it now. You can get it, it, at the moment you can, well I'll explain that later, if, if it's even here, I hope it's here. Because it's a very important Esper, I don't know whether it's here now or whether it doesn't appear until later, but I think it does now. I got it in my practice file. Oh, there he is, this like shady looking character back here. Oh no! Phew! Don't scare people like that, I thought you were a trooper! A while ago someone broke into the Magitek research facility, yeah, yours truly, and raised a ruckus! What's with all the ruckus? I took the opportunity to grab this! For 3,000 GP, this glowing stone's yours! Hmm... Trust this shady character? Yeah, why not? Received Magitek Seraphim! Um, now, Seraphim is such an important esper. Um, you can actually, it was 3,000 GP there, but like, um, and you can buy it later in the game and it's only 10 GP, but like, 3,000 GP is like two battles, so why wouldn't you get it now when you see how important, how amazing Seraphim is? Seraphim will teach you life, it'll teach you cure to at a times eight, um, rate, it'll teach you regen and it'll teach you remedy, it is a really, really good esper. If you teach, um... Celis and Terra and certain other characters that we'll get to meet soon enough. Um, Cure 2. Um, if you give the Seraphim to them, they'll learn Cure 2 really quickly. It's a brilliant Esper, so I definitely get it now. Because Cure 2, like, don't. Cure 2 is really important for the, for the last area of the first half of the game. I'm not going to spoil anything about what it is, but. Um, I forgot to mention as well, Siren actually can cast Silence on all enemies, which is really useful if you come up against a lot of enemies that use magic and are susceptible to mute, because it's basically like casting mute on everyone. Um, and it only costs 16 MP to use, so if you're going to be in an area with magic users, sometimes Siren can be useful. Um, I think that's enough for this video though, we've done a lot, I mean we saw um, what's going on at Narsh, and we got three new espers, look how many we have now, jeez. How many do we have now? We've loads of them. That's actually most of the espers that are in the game. I mean, there are a lot. There are other ones, but these are the bulk of them, and we've gotten them all so quickly. Um, so I guess that's enough for this part of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. In the next part, we'll actually return to Narsh. Um, we'll get some new equipment, and we'll get something else. But I'm not going to spoil anything. Um, so I guess I'll see you next time in Let's Play Final Fantasy VI.